Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're talking about the Lisa Eldridge New Velvet Collection. I have the colors Velvet Fawn, Velvet Muse, and Velvet Decade. Now, I've already done one video showing you guys how each color applies individually, but I thought it could be fun to play around with the colors, especially Velvet Decade, because it is quite intense, and I think that is the color that most people are a bit apprehensive about. So I thought we could go ahead and just show different ways of applying these lipsticks, make them a bit more wearable for every day. But before we go any further in the video, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee, let's take a sip and let's get started. So to me, the new Velvet Collection just screams 90s supermodel glam. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to do some lip colors along those veins because when I think of 90s lip colors, I think of dark colors, I also think of like that ombre effect where it's a little bit darker on the outside and lighter on the inside. So I thought we could go ahead and try that today. I'm gonna go ahead and do two versions of that, one a bit more extreme and one more wearable. So the first one I'll do, it'll be Velvet Fawn with Velvet Decade. So I'll start off by going into a Velvet Fawn on the inside of the lip and then a Velvet Decade on the outside and then we'll just blend. And I'm going to go into the lipstick here with just a small makeup brush just to do the contour a bit more. Okay, so this is Velvet Decade with Velvet Fawn. There is a gradient from darker to lighter. You can make it more intense if you wanted to. You can go in with a lip liner just to have a more intense look. But I actually like it like this. It's a bit more subdued. I think if you went in heavier with a decade, because this one it does have a very wide shade range almost. Maybe not shade range, but you can go very light to very, very dark with this. So if you did the entire lip contour with this very dark, you could get a really dark outline and then do a lighter center if you want to. But this is like, it's 90s, but it's also quite wearable. And I think it also depends on your day and whether or not you have a lot of time to play around with lip pencils just to fill in the contour. And you can go ahead and add a little bit more Velvet Fawn. I think I liked it before. I think adding more Velvet Fawn makes it almost too light with Decade. I think you would have to go back in with the brush here just to like blend out more of that darker color. But let's go ahead and try Velvet Muse with Velvet Decade. Let's go in with Velvet Muse and again, just focusing more in the center of the mouth. And then going back in with a little brush here just to make sure the color is very nicely blended. So with this application here, I did go in darker with Velvet Decade because Velvet Muse is closer to it so it wouldn't have such a stark contrast between the outside and inside. But I think this is a really beautiful color as well. It is it is a gradient, but it's not a, a stark gradient. I think oftentimes when we think of 90s lipstick, it, it can be like almost like black and then clear on the inside, which is not what we're going for. It's more just to see what we can get by mixing these together. I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit more of Velvet Muse on the center here. Again, I think this also screams pretty 90s, and I really like this Velvet Decade because you really can play around with it to make it much lighter. You can mix it in with um, different lip colors, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and try Velvet Decade on its own and just mixing it and making it more gradient just by itself. In between all of the lip swatches, I am going in with some chapstick. This is just a regular boring Blistex chapstick. I'm putting a little bit on the lips, but also patting it away because I don't want it to be like thick. I just want to hydrate my lips because I am going in and wiping them quite a bit. So going in from the bullet, let's go ahead and try to focus on the outside of the lips with Velvet Decade. So just like this, it does not look great. Let's go ahead and blend it. 
let's go in with the very classic makeup artist tool, the finger. I'm gonna go ahead and add a bit of lip gloss. This is the Rihanna Fenty lip gloss in Fenty Glow. It's the gold nudie lip gloss. I think it'll look really nice on top of this here. I think adding a little bit of gloss when you just pat it into the lips really makes a big difference. I think it just transforms it into a new color and new lipstick altogether. The fact that it's matte underneath will make it stay and stain the lips longer, but just adding that gloss I think just makes your lips look a bit more plump, a bit more hydrated, and it's just a really nice look. It looks totally different than the other looks we've been playing around with. I used this Fenty lip gloss, but I think any nude or even clear lip gloss, if you don't want to transfer the color of the lipstick on the wand, you can take the lip gloss and put it on the back of your hand, then take it and then add it on the lips. That will just help, you know, just change the color completely. And I think when you add the gloss, you still get that ombre effect, but it's not as stark. It, it looks a bit more natural. So if you want to play around with these different colors, but you don't like the effect of just two lip colors together, you could always try with a gloss just to lighten it up a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Velvet Decade again, but I'm also gonna go ahead and use it with Velvet Ribbon, which is part of the True Velvet collection that came out last year, these beautiful reds. So Velvet Ribbon is the classic true blue, classic cool toned red. I'm gonna go ahead and mix it with Velvet Decade because I think it'll transform into a beautiful color. It might match my shirt. Let's go ahead and see. So I just went back into Velvet Ribbon and added a bit more color in the center of the lip and then blended that one out. As you can see, it's a bit less intense than Velvet Ribbon on its own, which is a really beautiful bright red, and Velvet Decade, which is a really dark chocolatey brown. Mixed together, you get something a bit more muted and it's a really pretty red. It doesn't exactly match my shirt as much as I thought it would, but it still is, it's like a chocolate cherry red, if that makes any sense. I think it's very pretty, very wearable, so you have a few more options to wear your Velvet Decade with. Okay, I wanna try and mixing Velvet Decade with one last lipstick. I wanna mix it with Skyscraper Rose, which is that beautiful fuchsia raspberry pink color that came out in the summer with the Summer Pink Collection. I think this one is quite vibrant, so maybe it will also just help lift Velvet Decade and make it a bit brighter as well. So as usual, I'm gonna go into Skyscraper Rose at first and do the center of the lip and then do Velvet Decade on the contour. So I went into Skyscraper Rose a little bit more and just dotted it in the center of the mouth. I find that this is a really fun way to wear either Velvet Decade and also these brighter, bolder lip colors because it kind of seems to find a really happy place in between. It's not a super bright, bold lip. It's not a very dark chocolate lip either. It kind of finds middle ground in between. If you don't have every single lip color that I've mentioned today, I'm sure you have something similar at home, a lip liner, a gloss, etc. But I find that this is a really pretty color. This one is like a chocolate raspberry color. I think I'm hungry. I'm naming all of these lip colors according to different types of chocolates, but I think this one is really pretty and it just goes to show that Velvet Decade can be quite intense, but you can also mix it and blend it and wear it a bit more subtle than just straight across and just like a dark chocolate lip. If you want a dark chocolate lip, you can go ahead and do that, but you, here are several different ways that you can lighten it up. All right, I think this is what does it for today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you happen to have Velvet Decade at home or any of these other Lisa Eldridge lipsticks, let us know down in the comments. What is your favorite way to wear Velvet Decade? Is there a different way or method of application that I haven't done in today's video that you love? Please let us know. We are here to learn and to talk about makeup because that is one of the best topics in life, in my opinion. 
If you happen to enjoy today's video, might I suggest subscribing to my channel because I talk a lot about luxury makeup and luxury collections and whenever I get a collection, I like to do several different looks with the same products. I find that this way, I get my money's worth personally and also you at home get to learn multiple different ways to wear the same products. So if that interests you, please subscribe. And yeah, I think this is all I have for you guys for today's video. So thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you guys have a beautiful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.